everybody, it's Chris from the Evermore Podcast, you're the Cast United Podcast, the Evermore YouTube channel, back with another rumour has it video, just talking about players who are linked to the club, the summer window, and they are plenty, as you can probably see, anyone who follows the channel would have seen loads of videos, and we'll have a few more, I'm sure, before the, uh, the opening game of the season. Just before I get stuck in this player, a little bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already, please click that like and subscribe button. I think we're on something like 1,337 subscribers, or six subscribers, uh, if you can help us push over that. 1500 mark that'd be absolutely amazing i'd love to be at 2000 before the season starts but we'll just have to wait and see how that goes but yeah thank you so much everybody who's done it already make sure you hit that notification bell you'll never miss a video whether it be one of these whether it be one of the live shows that we do as well right so without further ado let's get stuck into the most recent player in the rumor has it mill it's a player who's been linked to us for quite a while actually um and i think it's it started to resurface yet again given our need for attack and threat and, and some of the unsuccessful moves we've had in the window regarding likes of Hugo Ekatike, Alexander Rizak, and obviously Musa Diaby. So the player we're talking about is uh, Burnley's Maxwell Corne. Now, I started thinking about this player before the video. Uh, I did a we did a podcast on Wednesday, and I, I think somebody put it in the comments, and I called him Saint Maximin on on, on wish, um, as in just not quite what you're expecting. Um, I've looked at his highlight reel again. I've had a look at some of his stats, and, and perhaps I was being a little bit harsh on the player. 25 years old, Ivory Coast International, left footed. Um, last season, uh, as Mark's highlighted there, 29 games, nine goals, two assists. He did get injured at a crucial time. I think he missed 13 days of injury with a knee knee injury, and that really screwed Burnley's kind of uh, you know um, survival hopes as well as us signing Chris Wood. So the key strengths the lad's got, you know, he. He gets stuck in, he wins the ball back as well. He's very versatile, as Mark's put on there, predominantly kind of left winger, but he can play up front as well. And he did bash a few goals in there, in all fairness. Um, you know, his, his offside awareness isn't great. He does get caught offside a bit, but he has got a bit of pace. And that often does happen to players who are a little bit nippy. Obviously, Amaron's born offside. You know, he's got some pace on him as well. But you can see how he compares alongside kind of Callum Wilson there. You know, got a few more goals in Callum, to be fair. Obviously, a lot more assists because, as we've said numerous times, Callum's just an out-and-out -out number nine, gives the ball, I'll put it away type of thing. Um, but, yeah, I started the video thinking I was going to just completely pan this and say, not for me, shite, move on. But when you give it a little bit of thought, the release fee for Maxwell Corney reportedly is 17 million quid. And that's not too bad, that, for a guy who's proven in the Premier League to score goals, scored some bellers as well, all kinds of goals, scored headers, you know, brilliant free kick against Leeds, I think it was. Um, really tidy finishes against Brentford and Southampton. Um, so the, the, the boy can finish and, you know, at 25 years old. He's not a bad age as well. As you can see, some of the greens there, you know, goals per game, you know, 0 0.44, so he's in the 61 percentile. Shots on target is very good, 91 percentile. Um, and shots to goal ratio as well as his passing attempts is pretty decent as well in the 50s. But there is a lot of reds in there. Now, there's bound to be a lot of reds when you play for someone like Burnley, you know, disrespect them. They were shite all season. This guy was the shining light by a country mile. You know, if you put him into a better side with better players, would he have looked as good? I'm not too sure. That often does happen to these types of players. But, you know, I have kind of changed my mind a little bit on him, if, if I'm brutally honest with you, from, from when I first started doing the video. Um, the, the truth of the matter is, really, we're, I wouldn't say we're fucked, but we're, we're desperate for players in these positions. We desperately need attacking players, players that can create, players that can make things happen. We've had some real brick walls in the transfer window, so... Thinking about it for 17 million quid, Corny isn't a bad shout. You know, we, we did a video, obviously, on uh, on Mara, uh, the young French player from Bordeaux, who's totally improved in this league, um, 19 years old, and they want 13 million for him. So if you look at that retrospectively, you know, yes, there's kind of six years between the two of them, but, you know, to pay 13, 14 million quid for a kid who's never kicked the ball in the Premier League to a lad who's got nine goals in 29, you know, 17 million is probably less of a gamble. You know, similar to the likes of the Zapata move as well. If you could sign Corne and Zapata for, say, a combined 37 million, that's less than you would have paid for Akatike. So it's actually not bad business, in all fairness. So I've had a bit of a rethink on it. Um, but I, I would like to have hoped we can get better, to be fair. I mean, Musa Diaby is the top target. That right wing position is still massively in need of repair. Um, but as a backup striker, and probably to fill in for some maximum if he goes off the boil, or some might say when he goes off the boil. Um, he started to do a little bit of silly stuff in the preseason game as well. I think Craig Hope picked up on that as well against 1860 the other day, running down blind alleys, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But Corny might actually not be a bad bit of business, to be fair. As I said, 17 million quid. He's back up for Maxi. You know, he can play as a striker, play alongside Wilson, can play in that front three. 
um, can play in ahead of Wilson if Wilson's injured um, or if Wilson goes off form. So, so yeah, thinking about a little bit more detail. I think Corn 870 Mink well, isn't a bad bit of business, but let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you as always. And we always try to reply as many comments as we can do. This isn't an ITK channel. I can't stress that enough. This is literally just rumours and links to players that have been linked via the journalists, via the sporting outlets, even some player links as well. We're going to be doing some players on that soon enough, uh, whether it's been players linked by by fans, you know, who want to see players sign from the club. We're going to look at their stats in detail and just see where they would fit in this, this kind of setup. So as I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, please click that like and subscribe button. We'd love you to come join us. We've got loads of content coming before the season starts. Uh, me and Mark will be back on Monday with the What's Going On. Um, so, yeah, check that out live at 10 o'clock. And then the Evermore podcast will be Wednesday at half past six. And uh, we've got plenty of Newcastle talk to talk about preseason games to, to kind of wrap up more transfer business and opinions. So, yeah, come and join us. Loads of content coming, guys. This is Chris signing off. Let's keep supporting that team of Coin United, and we'll catch you later. Cheers.